Hello people. In this video I'm going to show you how we can make a digital ammeter using a microcontroller. Let's begin. Let's first go through the components we'll be using. To build an ammeter we need to be able to detect current. So we'll be using a current sensor. Current sensor I'm using WCS2702 which can measure current up to 2 amps. Next we need something to display the measured current. There are two options LCD display or 7 segment display. I'll be using the 7 segment display because it is used in most power supplies and measured value is easily visible. And as for the brain of the project, I'll be using a microcontroller with which there are many options. Namely, AD51, PIC or AVR. I'll be using a PIC microcontroller because of the following reasons. AD51 doesn't have an internal ADC. So adding an external ADC will just increase hardware. And with AVR, the programming is a bit tricky because it doesn't have bit level instructions in C language. Since PIC microcontroller have an inbuilt ADC and also has bit level instructions, we can write or read a single bit which makes programming a bit easy. To mount the chip, I'll be using this project board and pick it to programmer to program the board. Let's quickly go through the features available on this board. It supports any 40 pin microcontroller. As PIC microcontrollers also come in other sizes. It also has an interface for 16 cross 2 LCD, ULN2803 current driver chip, and RS232 connector for serial communication with PC. But we won't be using these features for this project. We'll be using 11 digital pins for interfacing this 3 digit 7 segment display and one analog pin for our current sensor. We'll also be using these programming pins for connecting the external programmer which is PICKIT2 and these 5 volt and ground pins to power the sensor and the display. Let's start with interfacing. The microcontroller I'll be using is PIC16F877A which apart from all digital pins has 8 analog pins and incorporates a 10 bit ADC and connect the PIC kit to programmer. Before connecting the sensor and the display, first we have to make sure that the programmer, the chip and the project board are working properly. To do this, we can just connect an LED and download a blink LED program and as you can see, it's working fine. Next, let us connect the display and test it. First, I wrote a program to run the single digit of the display from 0 to F and uploaded the program. After this, now I have to multiplex three digits. Since all three digits are on the same data line, we have to switch between each digit for a small time such as 5 milliseconds. In order to achieve this I used timer 0 in 16 bit mode to generate a delay of 5 milliseconds. And I wrote a code to roll the display from 0 to 999. Once this is tested, now it's time to interface the current sensor. This current sensor has 5 pins. Two corner pins are for current in and current out. Since ammeters are always connected in series with the source and the load, these two pins will be used for those connections. Among other three pins, two are VCC and ground, which will be connected to 5 volt and ground. Third pin is the output pin, which will generate an analog voltage proportional to the current measured. Now, before we interface the sensor, I had to configure the ADC of the microcontroller. To do this, I connected a 10K potentiometer. Connecting the corner pins to 5V and ground and the center pin 
to the analog pin of the microcontroller can vary the voltage at the analog pin. I initialized the analog comparator and copy pasted the previous code for the display and uploaded the program. Now as you can see, the display is pretty much showing the digital value of the analog voltage measured. PIC microcontroller has a 10 bit ADC. So a voltage varying between 0 and 5 volt will produce a decimal value from 0 to 1023. According to the data sheet of the current sensor, the voltage read will be between 2.5 volt and 4.5 volt to read the value between 0 and 2 amps. For testing, we need a source and a load. For the load, I will be using this thermoelectric heater, which is also called a Peltier. It can draw currents up to 4 amps. And for the source, I will be using a variable power supply. Now, as you can see, as I vary the voltage to the thermoelectric heater, it will draw a different amount of current. And it looks like it is showing the proper current value in milliamps. But we have to be sure. So I connected my analog ammeter in series with the current sensor. It seems like our digital ammeter is working pretty accurately. As you can see, my analog ammeter and the display are showing almost exact same value. So that's it for this project. I was planning to do this project from long time. This was an interesting project to do. And to show your support, please consider subscribing to the channel and to watch my future upcoming videos. Thank you. See you again.